Hello everyone. Welcome to the series on best of IPM. My name is Jaimin Shah. This particular question is from IPM 2019 QA short answer section. I want each one of you to pause the video, read the question, try on your own and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free to avail this please click on the link mentioned under the description box below happy learning so there is a circle given and it says that it does not touch or intersect the coordinate axis what does that mean it should lie in one of the quadrant now from the center of a circle that is 3,5 like how do we get 3 and 5 minus 6 upon minus 2 comma minus 10 upon minus 2 right from the center of a circle I can find out that this particular circle has to be in the first quadrant because it does not touch any of the axis correct let's draw the quadrant now this center the coordinate are 3 comma 5 right and it says that if a point 1 comma 4 does not lie outside the circle which means this point can lie on the circumference or it can lie within the circle but it cannot lie outside the circle then the range of k which means the range of k range of this value is given by a comma b a is a round bracket and b has a square bracket which means there's a hint for us here that B will be inclusive, okay, and A will not be inclusive. Let's see how can we approach this question. So, max to max, okay, maximum what I can see is that the radius cannot be greater than or equal to this distance that is 3. The radius cannot be greater than or equal to this particular distance which is 3. Right? It can, it cannot touch the x-axis. I mean if it touch x-axis then it will violate the condition here. So, we will find out the radius here. So, the radius is nothing but as 3 square plus 5 square minus k. The under root of that that is equal to root of 34 minus k. So, the radius that we have root of 34 minus k should be less than 3 and if I square both the side, I will get 34 minus k is less than 9. So, that gives me 35 minus 9 is 25 and if I take minus k on that side that gives me 25 is less than k or in other words k is greater than 25. Now how can I get the other constraint? Okay, How can I get the value for b here? I know that k is greater than 25 which means a comma b A is clearly 25. I need to find out what is B now. Okay, I need to find out what is B. There is one more condition given that a point 1 comma 4 does not lie outside the circle. So, the worst case, it can be on the circumference or it can be inside. So, let us say this point is 1 comma 4. This center is 3 comma 5. So, this distance D radius should be greater than or equal to this distance d. If the point lies inside the circle, the radius will be greater than the distance. If the point lies on the circumference, then the radius will be equal to the particular distance. So, the radius that is root of 34 minus k should be greater than or equal to the distance. How do we find the distance here? It is 3 minus 1 that is 2 whole square plus 5 minus 4 1 whole square. So, basically I get root 34, root of 34 minus k is greater than or equal to 5, root 5. 
if I square both the side, I will get k is greater than or equal to, not greater than, k will be less than or equal to, if I take that on the other side, it will become k less than or equal to 29. So, this gives me a confidence that I have got right because I am getting equal to sign here less than, so the upper limit for k is 29. So, I have got value of a is 25, value of b is 29, what am I supposed to find out what is value of a plus b. So, value of a plus b will be nothing but as 25 plus 29 that is equal to 54 and that is the correct answer. So, now what I want, I want you to solve this particular question, a replica of what we have done, type the correct answer in the comment section and we will get back to you within 24 hours.